Kids Online. Thank you for joining us today. We're so glad you're here with us. My name is Yaya. And my name is Pastor Nick. And we hope that you had a wonderful week. And we're glad that you're back here with us this morning. And if you're new, welcome. We're glad you're here too. Because here we learn about God's love for one another. And we get to grow in love for God and for our neighbor. That's right. So guess what, Pastor Nick? What, Miss Yaya? It's time for... Announcements, announcements, announcements! We love that you're sending pics and videos of you worshiping. Keep them coming. Send them at faithkids at faithce.com. Got prayers? Our prayer partners would love to pray for you. Send your prayers at faithkids at faithce.com and we will pray with you. Let's give a big shout out to our friends who are celebrating birthday this month. Journey with us for our family Lenten devotional that will begin on February 14th through Holy Week. Family packets can be picked up on Sunday, February 14th after church services or can be picked up at the church office anytime. Packets include everything you need for each week. So let's get together and journey through a family Lenten devotional. Family Easter service will be on Saturday, April 3rd at 10 a.m. in person, followed by an Easter egg hunt at 11 a.m. Make sure you reserve your seating online through our church website and or app. See you then. Let's continue worship. Okay, friends, there are many ways in which we can worship together to show love for God, and one of those ways is through music. Absolutely. So now, my friends, let's welcome our band in together. Ready? Ready. Hey, hey Faith, Faith Kids, Kids band, band, let's, let's play. play. Hello, Faith Kids. Please join us in singing Wake.
It's got story time. Hello, friends. Today we'll be reading a story called A Big Picnic. More than 10 people, more than 50 people, more than 100 people, more than 1,000 people. That's a lot of people. They were 5,000 people had come to hear Jesus. They stayed all afternoon. At dinner time, they were still listening to Jesus. Jesus' friends said, Let's tell these people to leave now. They can go and get something to eat. They do not need to go, said Jesus. But we do not have enough money to buy them food, said Philip. You are right, said Andrew. And I only know one person who brought food. A little boy had five loaves of bread and two fish. That is not enough to feed 5,000 people. But Jesus said, tell the people to sit down. Everyone sat down on the soft grass. Jesus took the five loaves and the two fish. He prayed and thanked God for the food. Then his friends began to give food to the people. Now there were not only five loaves and two fish, there was plenty of bread and fish for everyone. There was enough food to feed 5,000 people. Each person got to eat as much as they wanted. Here ends the story. Do you know what these are? These are my Tupperware containers. This is what I use to put my leftovers in. Do you like eating leftovers? I certainly do. In fact, I think pizza tastes better as leftovers. I once had a neighbor who did not like leftovers. And so the neighbor would bring over their leftovers to me. One time, they brought over a steak. It was yummy. Today's story is a miracle. In the story, we hear about a little boy who has a little to give, and then Jesus makes it a lot. I'm wondering, my friends, do you have a specific prayer you pray at each meal? For me growing up, my dinner prayer with my family was this. God is good and God is great. Let us thank him for our food. By his hands we are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. That's what my family would pray every night at dinner. And that's the same prayer that Morgan, my wife, and I pray at dinner as well. I encourage you to find a family prayer for your meal. I know there's plenty of different prayers out there. And when you find one, share it with me. I want to hear about it. Today, we learn some valuable lessons. First, Jesus' disciples did not think they would be able to feed the people. They maybe had little faith. But this young boy, this child, just like you, brought what he had to Jesus, all that he had. And it wasn't a lot, but Jesus blessed it. And you know what happened? It multiplied and was able to feed everyone there. Jesus will always bless us in unique and different ways. And when he does, there will always be enough for us. Jesus wants us to share our blessings, though, with others. We're not to keep them to ourselves. So if you have a special talent, you should use it to help others and not just for yourself. Let's pray, friends. Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for our blessings. Help us to share them. And everybody says, Amen. It's time for a pop quiz.
stand up. And if you have the right answer, do the same pose as Pastor Nick. Here we go. True or false? Only 10 people came to hear Jesus speak. Is it true or false? The answer is false. Thanks for playing! Jesus prayed and thanked God for the food. Matthew chapter 14 verse 18 Well, let's stand up and get ready for worship, my friends. Let's call on our Faith Kids Band. Ready? Ready. Hey, hey Faith, Faith Kids, Kids Band, Band. Let's, let's play. play. All right, Faith Kids, join us in singing Follow You. Hello, hello, it's me again. It's me again. I know, I know when I call, you hear me, you hear me. Hello, hello, it's me again, it's me again. I know, I know when I call, you hear me, you hear me. I love, I love to pray, cause you hear what I've got to say. But I never want to be someone who just talks and never listens to you. I want to be the one who says that I'll follow. I'm gonna follow you every day, God. Nothing, no nothing will ever separate me from your love today, God. Nothing, no nothing will ever stop me from living for you. Hello, hello, it's me again. It's me again. I know, I know when I call, you hear me, you hear me. I love, I love to pray, cause you hear what I've got to say. But I never want to be someone who just talks and never listens to you. I want to be the one who says that I'll follow. Ooh, 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 I'm going to follow you every day, God. Nothing, no nothing will ever separate me from your love today, God. Nothing, no nothing will ever stop me from living for you every day, God. Nothing, no nothing will ever separate me from your love today, God. Nothing, no nothing will ever stop me from living for you. It's me again. I know, I know when I call, you hear me, you hear me. Ooh, 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 I'm gonna follow. Ooh, 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 I'm gonna follow. Ooh, 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 I'm gonna follow you every day, God. Nothing, no nothing will ever separate me from your love today, God. Nothing, no nothing will ever stop me from living for you every day, God. Nothing, no nothing will ever separate me from your love today, God. Nothing, no nothing will ever stop me from living for you. Because God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Yes, God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. No, God is good. All the time. And all the time. God One is more time. good. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is Let's good. Sing. See you next week, Faith Kids.
Hey friends, thank you so much for joining us today. What a great worship we had do it, worshiping together and so glad that we were able to do that. Thank you, Yaya. I truly love getting to worship with y'all and I hope that from either God's story time or when we get to listen to the Faith Kids Band that you're able to take that with you as you go into another new week. That you're able to use that and share that with friends at school, your family, and you get to continue to talk about and to grow in relationships with one another and with God. So thank you very much, friends, and we look forward to seeing you next week. See you next week. Bye, guys.